thank you for joining me today. I am throwing out another recipe. This is going to be great for your holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, um, the Super Bowl. These are very easy. You have to make them the night before, so they have to sit. Um, they're called Alabama Fire Crackers. And I seen it on a Facebook video and I tried them and they didn't even make it probably more than a couple hours and I had to try it and it was really good. They are not soggy, not at all. We're using vegetable oil. You could use canola oil. The lady that had the recipe, she said to not use olive oil, but if you want to do half and half experiment, that's fine. But this is what I used, um, is just the pure vegetable Crisco oil. Nabisco saltine crackers. If you want to try like the uh, Ritz crackers, something like that, go ahead. There are other videos on YouTube. Um, onion powder, crushed red pepper flakes, and garlic powder. And the other secret ingredient is a ranch dressing mix. Not the dip, not ranch dip, the dressing mix. Mine is great value because I could not find one by craft that was for the ranch dressing mix. So let me get my stuff and I'll show you how to make this. You guys are gonna love this, you have to try it. And I will show you, I have some that I made um, already, so I will show you what they look like when they're done and you can watch me eat it. I'll be right back. You're going to need, I'm using a two gallon Ziploc bag. Um, and this is the lady when she made it, she did a double recipe. So we're using just two sleeves of the crackers. And that, that is, if you want to make a double recipe, you're going to use the whole box. So you're going to use a cup of oil and we are going to dump that in our bag first and I already have that measured and I'm going to open up my dressing so you're going to need the ranch dressing mix not the dip ranch dressing and I have a half a teaspoon of garlic salt and a half a teaspoon of onion salt and a couple teaspoons or maybe a teaspoon a little bit more of red, red crushed red pepper flakes it's not very hard, it's not very easy to say. Let me see if I can get you closer so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. So we're gonna dump our oil and I've kind of um, folded over the edge of my bag so the oil goes in first. And if you wanna get um, a spatula or a spoon and make sure you get it all out. That's fine. You're not going to need to stir this. We're going to mix it up in the bag. You're going to put, let's put our dressing in next, the whole package. So the dressing mix, not the dip. Our garlic and onion powder and our red, crushed red pepper flakes. I'm going to just not put all of them in there. And then you're going to seal this up. Make sure it's sealed. And then you're just going to mix all of this up with your hands and make sure it is well mixed. And these are not going to be soggy with the oil. Nope. So then once we have that mixed, you're going to open up your bag and then you're going to open up your crackers. And we are going to, when we put these in, we're going to mix it. We're going to close the bag and mix them up, but we're going to try not to crush them. So we're going to dump all of these in. Two sleeves is for a regular batch. If you want to make a double batch, you're going to use all four sleeves, the whole box. And I'm telling you guys, you guys have, this is delicious. I, I couldn't even wait overnight. I made them like in the early afternoon. And then um, 
the next morning I put them in a container. So now we're going to close up our bag, make sure it's really closed very well. Okay, make sure. And now we're going to take, and we're just going to turn this very lightly and try to get all of that sauce mix incorporated over all of the crackers. I just want to make sure you can see. So you're just going to go very gently. We're not crushing these because we want to be able to eat these. You could use these with dips. You could use it with chili or soups. They are just awesome all on their own. You could probably put cheese or dress them up for your holidays. But people are going to love these. Um, guarantee it. So when you buy some, you might want to buy a couple of boxes of crackers. A few packages of the dressing mix. And then you're going to let this sit on your counter. If you want to squeeze out the air, you can do that. Make sure it's closed. And then let them sit overnight. Um, I would say 8 to 10 hours or so. Um, and every time you walk by the kitchen or your family, let them know. Every time you walk by this, flip your bag. So we can keep incorporating all of that sauce on those crackers and they're not going to be they're not going to be soggy guarantee it so you're just going to keep doing that every time you walk by flip it so when eight to ten hours comes if you can't wait you're not going to be able to wait you're not so you just a couple hours later after you've done it go in there and take one and try one oh my god you guys it is amazing they are amazing Okay, so that's what we have. I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm probably gonna have to get you a little closer. So these are the ones that I made. Okay, I'm gonna show you what these look like. And they are crispy. They do look different because you've got that oil and stuff but they're crispy you guys you can hear it okay so let me adjust my camera okay so I'm gonna try one and I, I I couldn't wait probably more than a few hours when I made them and they were still marinating in the bag and I gave my husband one he says oh my god those are really good and they are they're you your family will if the bag makes it a whole day with all them being gone you'll, they'll, I'll be amazed Those are very good. Oh my gosh. And yeah, they're hard to not eat a lot. Delicious. Very delicious, you guys. You finished chewing? So I want you guys to give this a try. You have a new snack, a new hors d'oeuvre. You can dress these up for your holidays. Thanksgiving's coming, Christmas is coming. You could do it for Halloween. You could do this for any holiday, your dinner parties, anything like that. If you have to bring something to a party, if it's a potluck, make these. And you better bring the recipe because people are gonna want to know how you made them. All right, thank you guys for joining me. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more recipes like this, leave a comment below, let me know. Hit that like button, because then that will tell me you guys want to see more recipes. On I'm, And I don't have to do them all the time, but you know, once in a while, maybe once every other couple weeks or something like that. So give these a try, Alabama Firecrackers. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.